As you can see, we've had our eye on you for some time now, Mr. Anderson. It seems that you've been living two lives. In one life, you're Thomas A. Anderson, program writer for a respectable software company. You have a social security number, you pay your taxes, and you help your landlady carry out her garbage. The other life is lived in computers, where you go by the hacker alias Neo and are guilty of virtually every computer crime we have a law for. One of these lives has a future one of them does not. I'm going to be as forthcoming as I can be, Mr. Anderson. You're here because we need your help. We know that you've been contacted by a certain individual. A man who calls himself Morpheus. And whatever you think you know about this man is irrelevant. He is considered by many authorities to be the most dangerous man alive. My colleagues believe that I am wasting my time with you, but I believe you wish to do the right thing. And we're willing to wipe the slate clean, give you a fresh start. And all that we're asking in return is your cooperation in bringing a known terrorist to justice. Yeah. Wow, that sounds like a really good deal. But I think I got a better one. How about I give you the finger mm. and you give me my phone call? Mm, Mr. Anderson. You disappoint me. You can't scare me with this Gestapo crap. I know my rights. I want my phone call. And tell me, Mr. Anderson, what good is a phone call if you're unable to speak? Mr. Anderson, whether you want to or not. This line is tapped, so I must be brief. They got to you first, but they've underestimated how important you are. If they knew what I know, you would probably be dead. What are you talking about? What, what is happening to me? You are the one, Neo. You see, you may have spent the last few years looking for me, but I've spent my entire life
your car. We don't have time for... Fine. Please, Neo. You have to trust me. There, Neo. You know that road. You know exactly where it is. Try and relax. Come on. Come on. Clear. Clear. 